Hello everyone, it's Ian here from Upholstery Designs down Springback West in Hull, East Yorkshire. I uh, just wanted to talk to you guys today a little bit about leather maintenance and uh, how to look after it. Obviously the more you look after things, the longer it lasts and I want you guys to be happy that you purchase from us and, um, and it, you know, it will last longer if you look after it. So uh, we've got here today the, the, the Hutton. Um, you will start off with a soft hoover attachment, so it's basically that one with the little uh, the soft soft uh, brush there, so it doesn't actually scratch your leather. Uh, I'm going for the purpose of the video hoover over the thing because we ain't got time for that today. This one's got detachable cushions, so you can you can take them all off, getting all the nooks and the crannies. Um, it's also got the detachable seat cushions. So it's velcroed as this one, so the cushions don't slip. Give it all a good hoover. Um, and also it's got the recliner so you can get your, your hoover in there give all the action a, a, a good uh, suck and a hoover get all the dust and, and everything from there and the kids sweet wrappers because uh, as adults of course don't use sweets you know we don't touch those and then um, so once we've done all of that pop it all back and then we uh, we always do uh, use the the leather cleaner first but that's the real important thing the protection cream so I'll, I'll, I'll do that first. I'll do the cleaner first protection cream so we've got a sponge um, it's just um, just a spray and application just a couple of squirts sometimes if it's, it's really ground in you can get a little bit of a, a lather go into with a sponge and then you get a little bit of foam uh, always start off in the center of a panel because you don't want you know cream etc to get stuck in the um, in the crease and it's tricky to, to get out that way and um, just gentle circular motions like I said it's just I'm just doing a, a quick demo for you here um, it's important that it's all you read all of the instructions on the back so um, obviously testing con inconspicuous spot that kind of thing um so just again gentle circular motions and then what you do once that naturally dries you follow it up with a protection cream soft cloth for that guys so again um and give it a bit of a shake always clean cloths so don't put use a you know an old rag that you wash your car with that kind of thing or wipes out the oven and i've had all sorts of nightmares over the years so um, the kits that we provide and uh, have in stock have got a little soft cloth in. So our leather suite at home, we tend to wash it, put it back in the kit, and then that, that's, that's dedicated to do that job, which obviously it's, our, it's ideal that. So once you've um, conditioned it, like I said, gentle circular motions, avoid the seams. Arms, areas and headrests usually get a little bit more uh, wear and tear, especially with people like me, we've got very little hair. So all the natural oils that come out of us um, and recommend two coats of the protection cream. So uh, any questions at all, just, you know where we are, um, give us a tinkle, pop in. Um, but just uh, thank you very much for watching. 